what happens when we do INS mode on a kernel module. We know kernel module is a piece of code which is which can be added to the kernel by calling INS mode and can be removed from the kernel by calling RM mode. So I, kernel is running in a super user privileges. The only way the user space can communicate with kernel is through system calls. So similarly, the NS mod also calls a system call. So when you do an NS mod, it calls it uses a system call to inform the kernel that it is trying to load a module. The system call it uses is init underscore module. So init underscore module is a system call used by the kernel to used by the user space INS mode function to inform the kernel. So once that particular system call is executed, then in kernel sys underscore init underscore module function is run. This particular function it performs a sequence of operations. The first operation which it performs is it will verify whether the user who is attempting to load the module has sufficient privileges or not, whether it has the permission to load or not, whether it is a normal user or a super user. So suppose if it is a normal user, then you will get, and if it is trying to load a module, you will be getting permission denied. So this is where it happens. So this is the first step. Step number one is to check whether the module, whether the user who is trying to load the module has permissions or not. Suppose the user is root, so this step is successful. After verification, the function which is called is load underscore module. So we need to copy the kernel code from user space to kernel space. So this particular load underscore module function, it assigns temporary memory and copies the module. The module we know it is an ELF file. We'll copy the ELF module from user space to kernel space using copy from user function. We'll be seeing copy from user function in our upcoming sessions in the character driver. Then it will check whether the co copied file, the ELF file is valid ELF file or not. And then it will allocate memory for the user space arguments which are also being copied into the kernel and it performs symbol resolution. Finally, the load underscore module function, it returns a reference to the kernel module. This reference of kernel module is added to a doubly linked list which has a list of all the modules in the system. Finally, the module underscore init function is called. So a lot of operations are performed when you do an INS mod and the module underscore init function is called. So these are the various operations which are performed before the module underscore init function is called.